Hey guys, happy Wednesday. It's Holly and Little Miss Daisy. You can see she's tuckered out from the week, but we are so excited to continue our series with David Linton um, here with Erebus Group. We are just so excited to have him. David, post-pandemic or how this pandemic continues, you know, we've seen so much with technology. I mean, we're in our homes more, people are on their computers more. Let's talk phishing attacks. I've seen a lot of that in the media and you know how smart I am when it comes to technology. <laughs> so fill us in. So a phishing attack is where a, an attacker sends an email to you that looks like it's from your bank or your credit card company yeah. or some other entity that you made your business with. Amazon, mm -hmm. here's a big one. A lot of them fake. They'll fake, they'll pretend to be Amazon. Yeah. And what they're looking for from you, they're telling you, oh, there's a big sale or there's something wrong with your account or they'll actually tell you your account's been hacked and they're trying to hack your account. Yeah. Right. So it's kind of an ironic situation. Yeah. So these are things to be aware of with these type of attacks via email, it's called phishing. And when you see an email that you think looks suspicious, be sure to look at the logo, be sure and look at who it says it's actually from. It right. may say it's from Amazon, but if you hover over the from, it'll then say it's from a random Gmail account. Well, that's not okay. Amazon, obviously. obviously so right. one way to protect yourself is to look at actually who the email is from. So without you know, hitting reply. Without hitting reply at all. Just <laughs> hover over. No matter what your email client is, you can usually just hover over the from name. Okay. And it'll then show you the actual email address it came from. Got it. And Amazon, if Amazon's going to send you an email, I guarantee you it's from Amazon.com. It's right. not from Gmail. It's not from right. Yahoo. Right. So that's one thing to look for. Yeah. The second thing to look for is if it's from your bank or your credit card company, call the number on the back of your credit card. Right. Or call the phone number on your bank statement. Do not, under any circumstances, call, that call the number in the email. As soon as <laughs> they get you on the phone, it's linked link to them. As soon as, exactly, as soon as they get to the, as soon as they get you on the phone, they're going to look for a way to get more information from them. Right. So, the best thing to do, even if you think the email is real, don't pay attention to anything on it. Mm -hmm. Go, go to the website separately. Right. and log in like you normally do. If it's right. a banking issue, they'll tell you. So those are the ways to better protect yourself yeah. in those kind of attacks. Be very aware of emails that claim to be from your bank or your credit card or Amazon or your cable company. Right. Any company you may or may not do business with. And of course, if you get an email from a company that claims you're doing business with them and you're not, just ignore it completely because right. you're not doing business. Right. So what if I click on it? If you click on it, normally you still have to fill in a form. Okay. Right? If you click on the email, then it's going to say, oh, well, we need your login information. Oh, of course they do. Don't <laughs> ever, 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 period, put in your login information. Just don't do it, ever. If it really has you freaked out, if you really think it could be legitimate, again, call your bank from the number on your statement or the exactly. credit card. Don't put in any information from a link inside of it. Fantastic. It's just that simple. Great info. And guys, as part of our Where in the World is Daisy partner, he is offering a free consultation. So if you are a Mac user, if you find yourself in this situation and you want an expert's opinion, don't miss out on this awesome opportunity to connect with David. So thanks so much. Thank you. Be sure to check us out next week for more great information. Thank you.